Hello mis amores and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today it's a new year. We should do some new stuff, which is not actually that new because otherwise you would probably leave this channel. And I like you guys here. I love you guys here. So you gotta stay here. So let's do something that we know on this channel already, which is following a Bob Ross tutorial. And as I've told you in my last two videos of this kind, I'm always searching for new ways in which I I can recreate Bob Ross's paintings. So I asked you, and a couple of you guys delivered because you said, wait, you did not say that. But Happy New Year, I totally forgot. 2022 now, crazy. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're having an amazing year. Now that that's out of the way, some of you guys delivered and the ones that delivered said that I should try recreating one of Bob Ross's paintings using frosting, buttercream. And so that's what we're gonna do. And then I looked that up on YouTube and I saw that Ro has already done that twice by now. So I will link her video in the description down below. Although I don't really want to do that because she's done a really great job, which I'm not sure if I will. The buttercream really worked well for her and so if my painting does not not turn out great, I don't have an excuse. I think my fear of failing is also the reason I procrastinated filming this video today, but I can't procrastinate any longer. <laughs> or could I? Let me just check what I missed in the last two minutes. Well, I've got something I can blame a potential failure on. I don't have an easel. I've only got our modern Christmas tree, <laughs> which I'm gonna hang the canvas on. That is not ideal. <laughs> it's still winter time. It's not Christmas anymore. I hope you had happy holidays, yada yada. I mean, usually the real winter in Germany begins in like February, I think, which is a shame. I feel like we should move Christmas to then, which I know doesn't make sense in a religious way, but like in a weather way it does. It's still winter time, so we're gonna paint a winter painting. I've already prepared the buttercream because that was quite the process. I could not mix all the colors I tried. I think most of the colors are close except for the black. I couldn't really get a pigmented black and also the red, but it'll just, that should, you know, this won't stop us. My buttercream, my colors. I also have a bit of water. All right, Bobby, I missed you. Welcome back. Hi, welcome back. Hi. So I have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint this painting. While they're doing that, let's... I'll be right back. <sighs> Got my wet buttercream now. Let's continue, shall we? <laughs> Covered the canvas with a nice thin even coat of the liquid white. It's wet and all already. So oh, let's it's start wet? today. With, we don't need we'll that. With, Look, I've even got this amazing palette. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a sun in the sky today, so decide where your sun's gonna live. <laughs> Where's my sun gonna live? My sun. <laughs> Wait, where did you <gasps> my canvas is the wrong way around? Okay, so he just kind of placed it here. This looks nice. I'm like smearing it around. Mine doesn't work that well. When Ro did it, it basically looked like paint. And like, I'm sort of lifting it off of the canvas, which isn't necessarily what we want to do. Let's not be too perfectionist. White and alizarin crimson. Mm. Mmm, maybe I should have added some flavor to it, but also it would have been a waste, so. I come right around this circle we made. <gasps> do this. I don't like my palette, it's a bit small. <laughs> Little crisscross strokes. Little crisscross strokes, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. I don't like how that looks, but I'm gonna pretend that I do. I fried something like that just the other day. Wait, <laughs> you fried something like that just the other day? Does it remind him of an egg or what am I missing? Bacon and egg? Uh, I'm confused. I don't like this. Starting to sweat. Started off so well. <laughs> this is like the second color we've used. It looks way too strokey and wild. I gotta smooth this out. Psh. 
I'm starting to see it. I don't like what I see though. But we're just gonna continue, you guys. We're just gonna pretend like we do like what we see. Heck. Uh, okay, okay, out. wait. It definitely does not behave like paint in my case. We definitely gotta work this a little bit more to make it look a bit smoother. This looks terrible so far. All of these colors are mixing with a liquid white. Yeah, nothing is mixing with a liquid white because I don't have liquid white. Bob Ross, can you like think for a second? Is this a trust the process kind of moment? Because I'm about to give up. <laughs> yeah. Can I just quickly... Oh, guys, this is horrible. Let's continue. He then said a touch more phthalo blue in there, so... This is more than just a touch. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of easy for him to say trust the process when it looks good in the process, like when he makes it, and mine just looks absolutely ridiculously bad right now. So hard to work with, because it doesn't move around like normal paint, obviously. If I put a bit of brown here, it stays here, and it's so hard to spread it. It does not spread like butter, even though it's buttercream, if you know what I mean. Just hold. I know you're not a canvas, but today you are. Holy sh Okay, I think by now it's just about damage control. So this right here, you guys, this is what we call in science something like a mistake. This is hurting the bit of a painter heart that I've got. What did Ro put into her buttercream? Because I would have needed some of that. Okay, next he takes a really big brush and just tries to blend it all together, which in his case will obviously work. You may want to step back from the canvas several times during this blending procedure and take a look-see at it. It's very hard. A look-see at it. I don't need to step away. I can smooth. see that it's not well blended. Maybe with some water. Maybe with some water I can somehow blend this. No, no, no. I think I'm actually doing something. I'm not. Am I? I don't know. I really don't know at this point. No. Okay. No. He's using a finger as well. Take your knife and just go soup and zip it right off. I've got a knife too. Now you can just blend it. And that's one of the neatest, easiest ways to make a fantastic little sign with almost no work. Okay. That didn't work. We put duct tape. No. You know, it's something resembling a mountain. Firmly pull it. Oh so no. Brush strokes. Just using brush strokes. And you can change your mind a thousand times if you want to. Ooh, so you, 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 you. Let's put some snow on this mountain. We're going to do a winter scene today. So for that, I'll use white and I'm going to put before we put snow, let me try and blend this some more. No pressure. Just relax and enjoy. Let it flow. What? Relax. Let it flow. See, the thing is, my white is not white at all. You know? With a little bit of imagination and a color filter on your eye, we could believe that this is snow. Just relax. Just relax. But buddy, if you could see my painting, you would not be in the mood to relax. I Trust me. Over the, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun as if we're not having fun already. <laughs> having nothing but fun. What do we do? How do we have fun? There's some happy little trees at this. Oh, it's happy little trees time. Tapping. I think I can do some tapping. All kinds of little things happening up here. These are little trees and bushes that live way off in the distance. And I'm tapping and pulling at the same time. Let it slide a little bit. 
Just let it slide a little. Because we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. These are not just happy accidents, Bob Ross. You're lying to all of us. Of this, just come across. That's all there is to it. Instant, instant reflections. Instant that, reflections. Not, not there, bad. but anyway. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Bob yeah. Ross, I'm about to Let cry. He's telling me I can do it. Meanwhile, I'm just looking at this and I'm like, no, I can't. I really, really can't do this. I feel like I should probably, just for like my mental health, follow a Bob Ross tutorial using actual paint because this is not a paint, this is painful. This joke was also really painful, but yeah. You can do it. I wonder if he saw this, if he would still say something like, you can do this, happy little accidents, because look at this, Bob Ross, just look at it. Maybe we'll have a happy little evergreen. Fan brush, I've got oh. one. You tap downward, 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 downward. I feel like this is the first thing that's kind of working so far. I don't even know where to put the highlights, like, let's be honest. Oh lordy, I don't even know what he's doing, um, I'm just like, I don't know, doing something I guess. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing here anymore. Let's put a little tree in here. Yes, another tree. Okay, we love trees. Ah! That's a tall tree. Nice. This is so... Wow, what a tree, Vincent. What a tree. <laughs> I can't even draw a fucking line. What the fuck is this? This really explains the problem, I think. I can't even paint a line. This painting's about finished, so I hope you really this enjoyed it. This is finished? Oh, let me stop this. What the fuck? And there you have it guys, we are done. I'm done. Everything about this video is done. Here is my pride and joy. My lovely little winter scenery. Maybe if I were to put it far in the back, it wouldn't look too bad. It just does not look finished at all. No, to be honest, it just looks like frosting. Like if someone were to ask me, what is this painted with? I'd be like, mm, frosting. Okay, I probably wouldn't say that, but this is frosting. <laughs> Just in general, you get the idea of it. You get what this is supposed to be, and I think that is as good as we're gonna get today. But I'm always having a fun time when I'm filming for you guys, and I'm having an even funner time reading your guys' comments, so please comment. Give me a best joke. I need a great joke, because honestly, I think I need my own personal joke. I feel like many people have like a go-to joke. When you ask them, tell a funny joke, they're like, okay, now I've got nothing. That being said, because we're not even talking about this ugly ass painting anymore, who wants this? You can eat it too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Y entonces nos vemos la próxima vez. Y bye.